Hey guys, Kellen again here with Droid Life. I wanted to talk quickly about trusted devices in Android 5.0 Lollipop. So you can see there I had a pin uh, attached to my phone. So in order to unlock it, I have to enter that pin every time. Uh, but like Motorola devices have been doing for a while, you can set up Bluetooth or even NFC devices to be trusted devices that will help you bypass that whenever uh, you're near a device that's trusted or connected. And so when you're unlocking your phone all the time, you don't necessarily have to enter in that pin, uh, but say you step away from your Bluetooth device or you leave your phone behind for some reason, uh, the device will lock itself and so it will keep, um, you know, terrible people out from accessing all of your information. So I have a Moto 360 here and it is paired, uh, but I wanted to walk you through the sort of process here. So if we slide this down, go into settings and you scroll down to security, you'll see that. So you would have to have a pin or pattern or some sort of secure lock screen set up. Once you have that done, you would go down into smart lock and then it's gonna ask you to enter your pin or password. And then this is where we set up trusted devices. Now you also have a trusted face which I would assume means you just show people's face and it will unlock it. I haven't actually played with that yet, so maybe we'll dive into that later. But trusted devices, you can see add a trusted device, keep this device unlocked when connected. So Bluetooth, like it says, it could be your, in your car for one. So if, whenever you get in your car, you don't wanna have to deal with your lock screen. Bluetooth watch or even an NFC sticker. So hit the little material design button here and you decide what do you want, Bluetooth or NFC? Let's go Bluetooth and it looks for things you're connected to. So I'm connected to my 360 and now I'm connected. So that is set up as a trusted device. So if I go ahead and lock this and unlock, it should just let me swipe up and unlock. So gone is the pin. So let me just swipe that away. So you can see that pin's gone and I can just swipe right in. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can actually, you'll notice there's actually a glowing sort of circle around the lock button. And if I tap that now, I actually do have to enter my pin in order, or my, I'm sorry, my pattern in order to get in there. So you can sort of tell it to stop um, using your trusted device for a while if you'd like. So again, I've got my trusted device set up, but I don't want it to be trusted anymore. Just tap that and now it's gonna force me uh, to enter that pin. So kind of a cool little thing, but again, you can do it with Bluetooth devices and NFC stickers on Android L. And it's kind of a cool idea, especially if you're wearing a Bluetooth device or you have Bluetooth earpiece in, or you're in your car or something like that. It's kind of a handy way of being able to uh, bypass your security. But then if you leave your phone behind again or something like that, it will still be secure. So uh, more tips coming. We are Droid Life. We're out. Peace.